Hi everyone, this is Tiffany from Tiffany Colors. Um, I wanted to come on and show you my completed pages for January. I know these are some of my favorite videos to watch and I wanted to get it done before we got too far into the month of February. Alright, so I've got quite a bit um, of color by number pages and not so many regular coloring pages, only because I'm trying to work through some of my color by number pages and get them done so I can buy more because there's so many more color by numbers coming out. I'm so excited. So anyway, uh, let me clear this off and we will get started. Okay, so the first ones I thought we would do would be the color by number pages. We'll get those done first. And I thought I would start out with my Color by Number 3D Mandala book. I happened to finish this book um, this month. I had two pages left to do in it this month, so I got those done at the beginning of the month, and I'm so happy that I completed a coloring book. This is my very first one. Um, it's by Sun Life Drawing, and it's Color by Number 3D Mandalas. If you want to see a full thrip flip through of my of this whole book being completed go to my Instagram Tiffany colors 79 and you will find the full flip through there but today I'm just going to show you my last two um, pictures that I had to do so I did this on January 5th and I love the sunny bright orange colors it makes me feel like it looks like the sun sunshine and we all need sunshine these winter months, especially up here where I live. Ugh. And then I did this one on January 12th. This one's very pretty. I like the muted colors with the greenery on the outside and the, the pretty flower in the middle. Yep. And so those were the last two I needed to do to complete the book. So yes, I am so happy. That was color by number 3D mandalas by Sun Life Drawing. Next up, I've got my Square Mandalas Animals and Patterns by Belva Family. And this one I'm doing front to back to try and finish. Let me see, where's my first one? This one here is my first, first one I did of the month. Um, so it's a little owl, very colorful. I did this on January 15th. And then the second one I did was this seahorse inside a starfish inside a sand dollar. At least that's what it looks to me. And I like doing the solid color method um, instead of the X method. I think it makes the color pop a little bit better. Oh, and I used um, my Bic Intensity Ultra Fines for this. And my 3D Mandala one, I just used my Ohuhu markers, which I love, by the way. Ohuhu are my favorite markers. Next up is Chippy Girl's Coloring Book by ColorQuestopia. I think this is probably my favorite ColorQuestopia book, and I have quite a few of them. ColorQuestopia sent me a bunch for review, some with black backgrounds, some with white backgrounds, but I really, really enjoy the white background. Um coloring books because I like to put in my own lines. So let's see where's my first one. This one is I did January 18th and I'm not doing this one in any particular order. I just happen to find one I like and pick up but I would like to finish this coloring book um, the end of the year. This is one of my 10 books to finish in 2021. But see so I like to do the same color gel pen as I do for the hair color, you know, see how it borders, whatever the color borders, I like to use the same color gel pen. And then for like the facial features, I use um, the black. Sometimes I'll do black for the whole front and just use gel pen for the black back of the lines. So I do do them a little bit different. And then of course I always have to do a little bit of shading. 
This was done with um, Ohuhu markers in Prismacolor for shading. And I think my gel pens were Teo Tree gel pens that I happened to get on a lightning deal. That I don't mind if I use them up. Um, this one was done on January 28th. Again, Ohuhu markers and Prismacolor pencils. Oops, and then this one on January 8th. So these were the three that I had finished out of this book this month. If you want to see more on how I do these pages, go to my Instagram. I think I did a unicorn picture and I captured every single step. Four steps. From doing the outlines, to doing the marker, to doing the shading, to, yeah, three steps, maybe not four. But anyway, go check that out on my Instagram. All right, next we have Disney Babies uh, by Hatchet Heroes. This I got quite some time ago on Disney UK, and it was not that cheap um, for it to ship here, but that's why I want to finish this one before I buy any more of these. But I do like these square, square type coloring books. These are fun to set and do. Um, and the evening or something for some mindless coloring. So the first two I did this month, this one I did on the 19th, which I believe is from Monsters, Inc. And then I did this one on the 22nd, and this is Simba from The Lion King. And then this one I did on the 30th of January. I believe these are the Aristocrats, Cats, whatever, something like that. And then Dumbo. And then we'll see. I'm going to do this one in order from front to back. We'll see how it how it keeps going. Another color by number book is Disney Princess Colorage Magique Mystiere by Hatchet Jeunesse. Another UK coloring book. I think the Jeunesse means it's for kids. Hatchet Jeunesse. Um, but it's really cute. And I like doing my super tips in this one. So this is Rapunzel. Hopefully you can see her in camera. And then this one, Pocahontas. And the girl from Brave, which I have Merida, I think is her name. And then Jasmine and Aladdin. And again, I used my I got a new set of a hundred um, Crayola super tips, and I love them because they're so juicy and they've got all kinds of colors. Before that I only had the 50. 50 Crayola Super Tips. Next up is my Backyard Color by Number. Now this one, I don't know if I've ever even seen on um, any YouTube channels, but it's, I found it on, um, yeah, Amazon. The author is Maggie Swanson. She has a few different Dover so you can see it's Dover coloring book. She has a few other coloring books. Um, but this one I came across because it was a color by number. And they are double-sided. I got this back in last year. January of last year I got this. They're double-sided. And so you have to use your... When I, you, can use, you can use colored pencil, but I like to use my water-based markers. And so I was using my Stedletter 320 double-ended ones that look like this. Um, and they've got, looks like a super tip on one side. And then a fine nib. Ooh, that one doesn't look so hot. I think it got some stuff. Uh, these are my older ones. I don't really use these anymore. Um... So I was using that and then shading in with my Arteza colored pencils. And that was fun. I mean, look how cute these pages are. These I did last year. I'll show you the ones um, that I did this year, this back in January. But um, they are just so, so cute that I had to pick it up. Look at the little bunnies. It's not very expensive on Amazon. It's probably like four or five bucks, maybe more now. But um, okay, so here's the first one I did. I did January third of this month, and it's a couple of kids out in a tent at night. 
And then I did these two. Oh gosh. Jeez, I'm gonna rip my page if I'm not careful. I did these two. I'll have to tape that back up. So it gives you the, the numbers and the colors on the bottom. And then you just use. And then I did these two. So I've got more to do. So see, now we're getting into fall. Some fall pictures. And then there's more fall. Look how cute these pictures. I'm almost done. This is another book I want to complete in 2021. And then you get into winter. So you kind of follow the seasons. If you notice, it's like spring. The babies are hatching out of the out of the nest. And then you've got gardening and flowers and backyard fun and well, that's what the name of the book is backyard fun and then you got the clothes hanging out so it's all like leading up to summer now we're in summer all kinds of summer photos a lot of summer photos because summer's the best time to be in your backyard and then we're getting into fall so now i'll be doing the fall ones but yep that one's called my backyard color by number by maggie swanson all right, another color by number. This is color by number Art Animal Stencils by Sun Life Drawing. And the two I did in here was this um, camel. I did him on January 20th, and I used my Ohuhu markers in this too. Oh, you know what? I think I did this one with my super tips. And this one I did on January... 28th, I believe. Yep. Those are the only two I did in here. Color by number are animal stencils. Creative Haven Mandala color by number. I did this um, cupcake one on January 15th and I use my Ohuhu brush tips in these books because they're really intricate. When I do my other color by numbers with Creative Haven, I always use my brush, Ohuhu brush markers because the tip is so fine. And then there's this one, stained glass, January 15th. I did this one. It looks like stained glass to me anyway. My Ohuhus. And this one I did on January 30th. So I'm start. I'm doing this one from front to back. And I've had this since, oh my god, 2017. And I've used different, like, gel pens and, you know, fine tip markers and whatever I could find. But now that i found the Ohuhu brush tips, that's what I'm using in here. So yeah, those are what I completed out of that book. Next up, this is my last color by number book. So this is Mystery Mosaics, book number eight by Mindware. If you guys haven't seen this before, this is a fun book to color in. I have, I have a couple other ones, but I want to try and finish this one before I start any new ones. And I completed this page. This was actually a whip. I had started... Um, this a while ago. I think I got some of the top done and then I stopped. So I wanted to finish that. So that was January 20th. And then I did this one with the, the killer whale. Isn't this so big and vibrant? I love it. January 26th I completed that one. All right. This is my first, um, non-color by number book that I worked in this month and this is Enchanted Faces by Hannah Lynn and I colored this girl here with her silvery gray blue hair on January 5th and then I did this girl this book has a hard time staying open I did this girl uh, oh, I didn't put the date down. I did do her in January, and I did her all with Crayola, um, the 120 colored pencils. 
Next up is my Daisy Joy Princess Coloring Book. See the back there. And I did this girl. And I put on my Instagram that she reminded me of Strawberry Shortcake from my childhood because I'm a child of the 80s. And uh, yeah, I love giving my girls now funky looking colored hair, but pink hair, strawberries, purpley, purple dress. Um, did her on January 25th, and I used Ohuhu markers and Prismacolor pencils. Next up is Mythographic. Look at this, guys. I got this on bargain price for $5.97 at my local Books a Million store. I could not believe it. That's why I picked it up. I'm like, for six bucks? I think... I think I need to grab this book. Even though sometimes these intricate, detail-y books don't really... I do have Kirby Rosanna's and stuff like that, but I very rarely work in them. But I like how these all have borders. So I did this on January 6th, and I did gel pen for all the hidden objects. So you kind of can't really tell what they are anymore, but at least it makes them shine a little bit in the, in the light. And I used Ohuhu markers. And I think I used my favorite Castell Polychromos in this book for the shading. I think. Or it could have been Crayolas now. I can't remember. But, yep. So I finished that one out of Mythographic Enchanted Castles. And my last book that I worked in this month is Sagar Ox Sagnar by Emily Little Oberg. Now, this is out of print, I believe, for some, somehow I was able to get it last minute last year when she, before she sold out, and I am so happy I did because this is my absolute favorite hardcover coloring book, and I am doing, trying to do this one from front to back, kind of trying, <laughs> not always, and I finished this girl with the blue hair, and it's raining on her island. I did. I finished her on January 24th. I started with my Artezas and then switched to, to Prismacolors. I, I don't know. My Prismacolors are probably my favorite colored pencil to use because, one, they blend so well, and they have the brightest, most beautiful colors. So that's why I go for those more than anything. Right now, I'm trying to do some work with favorite Castell Polychromos. It's coming out okay, but it's not like my Prismas. I love my prismas. So there, that completes all of my pages for the month of January. Thank you for watching. And I'm new to YouTube, so be patient with me. I still don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how to do, um, to, to put things down in the comments. I'll, I'll figure that all out. But, um... But yeah, subscribe if you like my videos. I've got two up so far, and um, I'm hoping to do some more once I get the hang of it. And this has um, been a lot of fun, so I will talk to you guys later.